Hello guys and welcome to the Osmium YouTube channel. Today we are going to do the start of the series Rebuilding Leeds United. Leeds United enjoyed their first spell of success in the early 2000s and they did quite a few uh, Champions League UEFA Cup runs. Of course it wasn't called the Champions League back then. And then and their finances fell apart, and they saw, and they got relegated um, uh, twice, and fell back down to League One before rebounding back and going up to the championship. And at the time of this recording, they're currently first in the championship. So there was a lot of pressure on them to do good. So. Uh, the reason why we were rebuilding them with hope and pride is because I just want to show, I just want to show the um, fans that Leeds United are still a good club. They have a lot of potential to be good. So, I am a going to, so, this is a voiceover. Forgot to do my mic. So this is a voiceover, so I'm trying to say what I've say, said in the moment, but I can't really remember. It was uh, a long time ago. So they want us to get promoted, which might be a little difficult, but uh, so yeah, they want us to get promoted. And uh, so now um, I'm, I'm about to go and do the tactics, and I'm going to catch you up later when we actually get to play some games. So, so I just finished the tactics. Remember, this is still a voiceover, so it might be a little scuffed. So this is the squad we have. Uh, it's just a normal forward with uh, a winger on the left and an inside forward on the right. So, I should show you them in a little bit. Maybe. Maybe not. I should. Okay, here we go. So, Augustine, he's just a normal forward. Nothing really special about him. Though... On the left, we have um, Helder Costa, who we have aiming his crosses towards the back post because Pablo, Pablo Hernandez has pretty decent finishing, which is why he's an inside forward. We have uh, the two fullbacks and Klitsch as our attacking mid because we have no defensive mids. They, they are not in this team. A box-to-box -box midfielder and a deep line playmaker with uh, two normal center backs and a sweeper key. So for a tactics, we're going wide, passing the space. We're underlapping, and, uh, uh, underlapping on the right and uh, uh, overlapping on the left. I turned off passing the space right now, but I turn it on later. So... Uh, is, uh, these are the tactics. They're pretty boring. You can you can pause the video and watch them right now. But we are playing with an offside trap. And the UI for mobile FM is just really buggy. So this is the squad. Uh, you can pause the video right now. We're really weak at uh, attacking mid and um, midfield. That's where we need to improve in at striker. But other than that, I think this team is pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, the, the, the captain is Liam Cooper. And uh, so we have a friendly against Schalke. And I'll get back to you whenever the season starts. Really, I, yeah, bye.
So this is still um, a voiceover. So we have a map for this Bristol City, and how these episodes are going to work is we will, we will have live games and games I'll do by myself. So for this episode, the two live games that we're going to do are Bristol City and Nottingham Forest. Then I'll play Lincoln City by myself. So this is where the voiceover gets really tough because I don't really know. So um, um, uh, Hoffenheim played this same formation except and destroyed in six million. But, uh, so, I, going into this game, I was hoping that we would destroy them that much. Cooper to Ben White, back to Casillo. Casillo to William Cooper, to Ferguson, plays the ball out to Dallas. Pablo Hernandez finds the ball into Augustine. Oh, but he was taken off the ball. Harrison, Douglas, Cooper. Our team mostly just passes the ball around and doesn't do anything with it. We keep possession a lot, but we couldn't do anything with it, which is why I turned on standard passing, and it fixed everything. Like, it solved all of our problems. Phillips, Douglas, Harrison. Dribbles past the defender somehow. Cross into Augustine just over the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah. a free kick from Douglas to Ben White. Douglas Ferguson. 
taken off the ball. Ferguson gets the ball back. Finds Douglas to Phillips. Phillips to follow the Hernandez. Phillips cuts around the defenders. A pass to Augustine. Not good. Not, not, not. You hit the defender. So, let's get into the second half. Bristol City just have had no chances this entire game, pretty much. We've kept them contained a lot, pretty much. So, and Phillips. Can 
hold out for these last uh, 15 minutes, making some substitutions, get Mick Calmont on there, and uh, get, uh, that's all the substitutions that I'm going to do. Bentley. The goalkeeper just keeps holding up the ball. We have to push him and they can't do anything with him because we always win the ball back. Wilson beats his man, crosses Morgan. Harrison gets the ball back now. Harrison just going to run with it. It's taken off the ball, but Augustine has it. But it's tipped over the ball. Great save from Bentley. He's really the only person keeping Bristol City in this match. Final 10 minutes. I feel like we're going to blow it. Let's make another substitution. Take off Barry Douglas because we do not want him to get a second yellow card. Uh, so, we the final, final um, two minutes. We're going to make another substitution. Bring on, uh, bring on uh, Adam Forshaw. For Phillips. Four minutes of stoppage time. And I think that is the game over. Um, so, this should be the final play of the game. And I uh, really like how the first game is gone. They go to Seattle. Scoring another goal. Harrison. Blow the whistle right there. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. And that game puts us into first. So I will get back to you whenever we um uh, whenever we can do the other game.
So, I just finished the Lincoln City game. This game annoyed me so much. We had so much possession, but we just couldn't do anything with it. Like, I switched it on to direct passes, and we still couldn't do anything. They just played very defensive. <laughs> I mean, we couldn't break them down. It and Doug, Barry Douglas got injured, but he should be fine. But I mean, the game just annoyed me so much. Like, like it annoyed me so much. It annoyed me so much. Like. I just annoying, and we are out of the Carabao Cup now. Oh, it's not good. So, uh, the next episode, we're going to. Uh, I'm going to do uh, Wigan, Brentford, and Stoke by myself and then we'll do uh Swansea in a live game because Swansea are first on goal differential but uh it's annoying so if you enjoyed the um the if you enjoyed the uh episode please uh like and subscribe and I will be coming out with a playlist soon for all the episodes so you can binge watch them. Um, stay safe out there. Bye.